guys, April was a whirlwind of emotions, ups and downs, happies and sads, and I'm exhausted. I just need a nap. So today we're going to go over the budget for April and let's see how we did. Numerous things happened this month and it was rough. I mean, seriously, seriously rough. At the beginning of the month, we got smacked with the, the $2,500 tax bill and we had no clue how we were going to come up with it. And then shortly after we got smacked with that and I told y'all about the tax bill, I filmed it and everything. Like two days later, I found out I was going to be getting a bonus at work, actually two. And then my promotions kicked in. And so when it was all said and done, we actually ended up coming out with money left over. I, I don't know how it happened, but we did. And it was amazing and it, it's seriously divine intervention. Yeah. If you're new to my budget videos, the way I do this is slightly different than the way other people do this. I basically go over all the expenses that we have for the month that were not planned. And then at the end of the month, I go over my categories and show if they were over or under. So let's get into it. I have no rhythm. So our cushion category always starts out at $100. And oh my goodness, we blew through that cushion this month. And this is actually the first month we've done it. And I gotta say, I think the reason we did is because I knew that we would be having extra money. And so there was some spending. I'm, I'm gonna be honest and fess up. There was some spending. I got new pants. Pants. But that's actually in the, a different category, which I'll cover towards the end of the video. Extraneous spending. So I talked about the the Life Touch photos in my um, my mid month budget update, and I'll I'll put an eye in the sky for that video. If you haven't seen it, it's it's pretty intense actually because that's when I had just found out about my bonuses at work and that my promotion kicked in and all of these things. And, and so it's, it was a pretty intense video. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it because well, it's me and you should watch me. <laughs> That's embarrassing. The life touch pictures were $59 and I wrote a check for them. That check has not cleared. The way we handled this is that if it hasn't cleared on the last day of the month, when we're finalizing the budget, it gets moved to the next month. So that $59 actually didn't happen this month. It's going to happen next month and it actually got put under miscellaneous expenses. So we're planning for it. So that was a win for sure. As I mentioned in the mid month budget update, Mauricio did want smoothie cleaning the first week after the Smoothie King debacle and of March. And so what ended up happening is that I agreed to it. I didn't have it. It ended up, um, Melina had a smoothie as well. And so it ended up being 1570. And that is the last time Smoothie King reared its ugly head in the month of April when so <laughs> eight, eight, Mauricio did go to Smoothie King several times during the month, but he always used his little money because I told him that if he bought a smoothie on the debit card one more time, I was going to chop off a leg. Melina has started going to church with her aunt every Saturday night and their church is super late. So she leaves about six o'clock and sometimes doesn't even get home until like 10. So it gives the adults like a few hours free, which I gotta tell you is amazing. And so Mauricio and I asked my parents if they wanted to rent a movie. We ended up renting Passengers through iTunes, which was an okay movie. It was entertaining. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best movie in the world. It was certainly better than Girl on a Train, which we watched, I think the weekend before that. But my parents rented that one on their, um, their cable account. So we didn't pay for that, so that's why it's not in the budget. But we ended up paying for this one and it was $5.99, totally worth it. it. It was nice to have an evening of just the adults, it really was. Next one is Franklin Covey, I, or Covey, I don't know how to say it, Franklin Covey, Covey, I don't know. It's the day timers, the, the paper day timers. I have used theirs for years. I use them for work because my job requires that I take copious notes and I keep them for many, many years. The job I had prior to my promotion did not really require me to keep notes or track what I did, but my new job 
my promotion, I am going to have to do it. So I was forced to buy a day timer, um, which is fine. I, I actually kind of missed having my paper day timer and it's a, a super complex one. So that one, it was 3284 and it, I should be getting reimbursed from my office for that because it is considered an office expense. So we'll see if it gets reimbursed thus far, it's been approved for reimbursement. So that's awesome. The next one was $31.75 at Michael's to get some cardstock and some other things that I needed for work. And again, that one should also be reimbursed. It's in the process of being reimbursed. So I should get that back. The way my job works is I spend out of my own pocket frequently and I get reimbursed. So that is a bonus with the cushion. Mauricio and his love of the vending machine at work. I don't know how anyone can eat out of a vending machine so much. He spent six dollars at the vending machine which really probably is only like three or four times i just don't like vending machine food we also did a sunday after church at mcdonald's i actually filmed a video on it and i'll link that up in the eye in the sky too that was so much fun and totally worth the 1861. It was semi-planned. We knew we were going to do it. We hadn't planned it. Our budget changed so drastically in the first half of the month um, that we knew we were going to take Melina out after church one day to McDonald's. So we put it in the budget about halfway through the month, but it, so it was a semi-planned experience. This one, all me. I should feel ashamed. Melina's godmother was in town. She was up here for, for work. And so one night we had her out to the house for dinner and that was so much fun. But I really wanted to have Cosmopolitans. And I would like to state for the record that I had been drinking Cosmopolitans since way before Sex in the City when they made them all popular. I love them. And you know, it's just like the perfect girl drink. And Mauricio has perfect affected a recipe. Mauricio is an amazing bartender. I mean, if, if he didn't have like real, like hardcore career aspirations, he would be a good bartender because his drinks are fantastic. So he find he took, you know, like a, several months to, to figure out the perfect recipe for Cosmopolitan. And so now he makes them for me all the time, but we were out of control and while not in the budget, I decided, yes, in fact, I needed, I needed control because how could I have Cosmopolitans if I didn't have control? So I stopped by the ABC store in Virginia. It is the weirdest thing. Like there is the liquor store. It's called the ABC store and you, all they sell is liquor. They don't sell wine. They don't sell beer, just liquor. And it's all state run and you can buy wine and beer at the grocery store, but not hard liquor. So that's the way it's done here in Virginia. So when I was picking her, I picked her up at the airport and we took her to our hotel and then I swang, swang, good grammar, Wendy. I swung by the ABC store and picked up a bottle of Contreau. And yes, that was 42.39, crazy. So then the final thing was bad. Bad, 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 bad. Shame on me, bad. So rather than breaking these all out individually, I've lumped them all together because that's the way I lumped them together. I went to a conference and I ended up eating out. And I've mentioned previously that with this promotion, I was probably going to need to put in an eating out category for work, but we ended up eating out at places that, whoa, expensive, like the Ritz Carlton. Yes, we ate at the Ritz Carlton, which by the way, Oh my goodness, their food is amazing. And I, I felt like such an idiot because I literally was looking at the menu. I'm like going down and I'm like, okay, that's $42, that's $32. Where's the vegetable dish? That's what I'm gonna get. And so <laughs> I ended up getting vegetable risotto, which was amazing and also the cheapest thing on the menu for a ridiculous amount of money. And that was one meal, one meal. We ended up eating at several places like that over the course of three days at that conference. And I ended up spending me alone $134.56 eating out. Now that was lunches and then dinners as well. So, and a cup of coffee for one, because I was so tired one day I had to get a cup of coffee. I had already drank what I brought with me and it was gone. 
I mean, like gone, gone. And I needed more coffee to make it through the, the conference. So I did end up getting a cup of coffee out at Starbucks, maybe, I think. I don't know, Obama Pine or I, I don't remember where I got it, but somewhere real close to where the conference was. The way I score over under, I give myself a little buffer of, uh, you know, five, five or ten dollars. It, if it's within five or ten dollars, I call it a wash for the most part. Utilities was exactly the same at five forty three sixty nine, so that was a win. And yes, AR, I did change my ding just for you because. I don't need anybody having a heart attack watching my my videos. <laughs> she, she, he, she, I, you know, AR, I don't know if you're a he or a she, uh, commented that the, my wind fails sounded like her fire alarm and, or his fire alarm. I'm going to assume you're a female. Let me know if you're female or male. Um, the fire alarm and it was causing them heart failure. So transportation was way under it started out at 835 and ended up at 452.81 Melina's school was right where it was supposed to be at 1479 my stores category yeah that was kind of out of control it started out at 195 and ended up at 582.28 and there were grocery runs in there there was we ended up having to buy like four pairs of shoes for Melina for Easter Sunday and none of them ended up fitting. We, we didn't know what size to buy her. We ended up returning them all. Several things we ended up returning, but those returns haven't cleared yet. So once they clear, then that category will actually go down significantly, like, like $250, I think. So that was definitely over. Wah, wah. Insurance and taxes, it was right on at 3,150 and 19 cents, and that was the evil tax bill. Yuck. Miscellaneous expenses was 393.95, which was equal. Total debt payments was $4,672, and that, was much lower than normal. It'll be higher next month and you'll see why in a second. Our our cushion category was 287.84 and that doesn't include the possible reimbursements which went, once I'm reimbursed they'll get put in as income in the next month. Definitely a fail. Um, YouTube expenses 24.48 which was over so that is a fail. The YouTube category was a fail because I thought Mauricio was going to cancel YouTube Red and Mauricio thought I was going to cancel YouTube Red. So I double checked. YouTube Red is officially canceled, but we did end up paying an extra $10. Boo. Medical. I had a copay of $30. Um, because I had all those problems with my eyes, I ended up touching my eyes a lot and ended up giving myself pink eye, which was lovely unrelated to the contact issue but when you have your fingers in your eyes all the time because your contacts are uncomfortable you end up getting an, um, an infection awesome so i had to go to the doctor for that medical you know it's spent um it's technically a fail but you know who can plan for medical sinking funds were 325 right on yay win um and finally the carryover for me is wait for it eight thirty 1371 $813.71 we had left over and that was after the tax debacle and everything let me explain real quick the carryover we carry over to the next month's budget and then immediately roll that into our debt payments so next month's debt payments should be awesome yay I have got to run because I'm gonna be super duper late for church and Mauricio is gonna hurt me because he hates being late here's hoping that May is not the financial debacle that April was. Well, not in the budget. Uh, no, I have 10 minutes. Just saying. 10 minutes. 10 minutes for you like an hour. I'm going to kill him. I have 10 minutes to finish this video, so I better get going. Are you going to come show them your new dress from Aunt Diane? I got two dresses from Aunt Diane and one so summer clothing. And one summer clothes show, everybody. There is a elephant that is almost like um, Aladdin. Did you guys watch Aladdin? It's super, super, duper cool. Look at that. 
I love you. Bye, Kyle. Kyle. Bunny! Seriously, I don't know how any anything gets done in this house. I will see you in the next one. See ya!